all right guys welcome to the to the lesson number three and we are starting our development right so i'm gonna check if we have like okay see background color is white i'm gonna click on primary okay no problem don't worry about it so uh what i did i also uploaded the um a logo here because we need the logo so let's go to our pages and in the pages we have like two pages created already home page and login page so we need to create one more page and we're gonna call it uh how do we, uh, onboarding onboarding page and click on create blank create page done and first of all we have to turn off the safe area and we have a column we're gonna keep that column because we need that column Mm, not really we're gonna delete the column sorry so uh what we have here here we have some kind of uh page view widget all right so if we go to our widgets we can type on the search for widget we can type page and we see that layout elements we have page view so drag and drop it to your screen all right and click on widget 3 delete all the page views here you don't need them right now delete the image and click on page view widget the main widget so we have and it has like properties with infinitive and height 500 so click on height infinitive make it infinitive as well uh, we have a margin so if see like 40 margin what does it mean that means here our uh total uh covering the page view but we need 100 percent. we need to cover everything so we go to page view and we can just delete this 40 and that's it so right now we are covering the whole page of this page view and you see that there is a blue uh color over here uh is go is showing the pages that we are opening right now and first of all it is like white all right and unactive pages they are dark blue dark black i don't know and if we choose our onboarding page view at the right side we have properties of it so it is it has like uh, axis horizontal scrolling so right left scrolling and vertical scrolling we need horizontal uh, allow swipe scrolling we can allow it to swipe it or we can disallow it usually i don't allow so i, I usually turn it off because we use buttons in order to swipe our uh, page update page on swipe you don't need it right now only when you connect your page view with the database you yes you can use like update page on swipe but right now you don't need it and then we scroll down we have like show indicator we can turn it on uh we need it and we can like easily click on this alignment and see where we want this indicator to be shown so i'm gonna choose the middle at the bottom so it's x0 y1 uh padding uh, i can delete padding and keep only 16 padding at the button bottom so active color is gonna be our white color so it's like primary text and inactive color is gonna be alternate and we can keep it we, you can play with it i am not right willing to play with it right now you can make it like 8 8 uh expansion factor one or i think two is better or one uh, border radius 8 8 so yeah so right now it's the same as design like rounded one okay so then click on page view page okay the with the icon plus icon and click on uh, add widget and use column so usually what i do with columns I, in cross axis alignment of a column i usually stretch it 
for me this is more comfortable to use it that way uh, but for some pe people it's not comfortable they like to click on the cross axis left side you know right side whatever it is but we can use like cross axis element at left side it says like start then what it has it has an image it has a container this one is a container not not uh, not a card and in the container it has like uh, text and button all right so first of all click on column add a child to this widget here's this icon edit and click on image so we are adding an image uh, double click on column so we open this widget and we see what widgets are inside this column so for the width usually i make it infinitive in this kind of like uh, designs and for the height let's see so click on that image and we see height is 207 so height make it 207 uh, then scroll down you can delete the border so just by clicking on the icon refresh it's gonna delete the border radius uh, image type so image type we take it from the asset all right because we have uploaded uh, previous lesson so and find the asset we need so we need this this asset then we have box fit so in our situation we have to use contain so right now you see that all the image is shown to us you know it's not stretch or anything then uh, we have uh, now we need to add container into our column so click on column uh, click on that icon so we can add a widget and we're gonna add container so now we have this small container here and it has like with 100 100 click on infinitive and height 100 uh let's see what height of that container here uh the height of it is 367 so we're gonna use height 367 plus it has like rounded uh, um, corners so i clicked on the container this one and the right side of of it i can see like a corner radius mix it it's saying mix it i need to see like the exact ones um i think here i'm not be best in uh, figma but what we can do we can click here and now we see uh, that our container has border radius 30 so border radius will make it 30 top left and 30 top right done still not the way we want it to to look like but what we what we can do right now we can use spacer spacer helps us to make these spaces here like this one this one and this one's gonna be on the button so uh, we go to column let's add uh, new widget and find widget this one spacer click on it and in the widget tree ho click on spacer and hold it and move it under image see now we have this space here so we can uh, create add one more spacer and put it on the on the top of the image so the image is between two spacers right now now is the way that we want it to look like then in order to place these widgets inside this container what do we have to do so we have to click on container and add column into this container all right then uh, we, we will add text one text two and button so click on column add text first text second text and button done so it's almost ready uh, 
let's copy this text and paste it here and copy this text and paste it over here and okay so we need to add uh, size of this button which is uh, width is saying uh, 312 312 width of the button 312 and text size is 14 pixels uh, okay, 14 pixels font weight normal and text is next all right so right now just click on on it and uh, on the text the big te text and see the size of this text is 34 pixels and uh, here it's saying font weight 400 font style normal so 34 pixels so in uh, by clicking on the text the right side we see font size so we change it to 34 all right and text alignment make it center uh, i think we need to add some weight yep this is looking much much better even like no 700 uh, let's see 500 is all right so this text uh, font size 16 pixels font weight 400 uh, so font size 16 pixels the rest is fine okay uh, how to make this spaces right first of all we have spaces uh so see i clicked on the container and i see uh the paddings top and bottom left and right left and right is 16 16. so i click not on the container all right i click on a column and for this column in properties i'm going to give padding 16 left and 16 right okay and of course we can add spacers inside here uh but now it's gonna work and i'm not sure how nice is this going to look like so i'm gonna oops i'm gonna add spacer here and i'm gonna add spacer here okay see it's really not looking as nice as we want it to look like so what we're gonna do we can take a column inside the container and we're gonna add 42 pixels uh, from the bottom and 42 from the top top so uh, we can add padding here 42 and 42 we can delete this one and delete this one okay okay uh, so by clicking on this text we see that it has padding 16 uh, from here so between them there is 16 pixels free so i'm gonna choose the uh, middle uh, widget in the middle one and give padding 16 and so i clicked on that in figma okay i clicked on the text and um, po pointed my mouse to the button on the button and see that there is a space uh, the padding between them is 112 so 112 yeah that's it so what we can do now we can easily take this image and just copy paste for all the other pages right and there's another way to do it to simplify it uh, which i want to use but it's not the best way to teach you guys so uh, we're gonna go the old way all right so click on page view active page add the page and we have a new page so delete the image and click on this column copy this column go to page views the another page with the empty one and paste it here and same thing for other page mm. So click on page view widget, add page, delete this image and paste, paste that one. And this is, we can make it like one more page view. See, but the thing that we're going to have four of this, so it's out of design at the moment, but 
in order to simplify things we can keep it uh, we're gonna make the start screen this one separate one all right so uh, now let's give them like the text that we have and images so I'm gonna click on that second page view I'm gonna click on image and what image we have we have this image here all right so we're gonna use that image and let's take this text all right uh, uh, okay this texts are all the same and the third page view and change this image to that one all right guys so we have completed our onboarding screen and next lesson we're gonna build that screen and the other screens see you guys enjoy your time using flutterflow